Remote Patient Monitoring, or RPM, is an exciting new program created by Medicare to monitor patients' vitals in between visits using connected devices given to the patient by the provider. You can make the most of this program as long as you know how to bill it correctly. In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about the CPP codes for remote patient monitoring to help properly bill and, more importantly, to maximize your revenue. Hi there, this is Lauren with Therocare. Every day here at Therocare, we're helping groups just like yours to help manage and streamline the most tedious remote patient monitoring processes. Now, CPT codes are broken into two categories for remote patient monitoring, device-based billing and time-based billing. And there's also a separate code for our friends at rural health clinics and federally qualified health centers. Before we jump into the codes themselves, let's talk a little bit more about remote patient monitoring devices. You may be asking yourself, what exactly is an RPM device? Now, an RPM device is defined as a device given to the patient by a provider and are taken home by the patient to take readings daily. These devices transmit data electronically in some form or fashion. The patient can rest assured that the device reading will then be sent to the provider's office so that provider can make any interventions and make sure that the patient's vitals are within the range expected. These devices can be, but aren't limited to, weight scales, glucometers, and blood pressure cuffs, just to name a few. As far as the device-based codes, the first you'll need to be aware of is CPT code 99453. This is when the device is given to the patient and you explain to the patient how to properly use this device. It's really a setup and education code. So for example, if you give the patient a blood pressure cuff, you might explain properly how to adjust the cuff, change batteries, and make sure the data is being transmitted to your practice. 99453 is a one-time code per device. It can only be billed once a month, so if you're giving your patient multiple devices, make sure you break up billing 99453 from month to month. For example, in the month of January, if you give the patient both a weight scale and a glucometer, you can only bill one 99453 code for the month of January. You'll need to wait until the month of February to bill for the other. The current average reimbursement for 99453 sits at around $20. Now keep in mind these are national average reimbursements, they may vary in your area. The other device-based code for remote patient monitoring is CPT code 99454. 99454 is for daily monitoring. 99454 will only trigger once the patient takes 16 readings within a calendar month. This billing code is also a one time per month code no matter how many devices the patient is given. If the patient does have multiple devices, you can total the readings from those two devices to be taken into account for the 16 total days with readings. 99454 pays at about a national average reimbursement of $56. Now that we know about device-based codes, let's talk about time-based remote patient monitoring codes. CPT code 99457 will allow you to bill for 20 minutes of non-face-to-face -face interaction around the remote patient monitoring program. To bill for 99457, 20 minutes need to be accrued by a clinical member or higher of your staff. So think a certified medical assistant or a certified nurse's assistant or higher. These non-face-to-face -face interactions or RPM time categories might include daily monitoring, phone calls, referrals, prescription refills, or basically anything your clinical team is doing while the patient is out of the office. 99457, national average reimbursement is at about $52 per month. There is also an add-on code to 99457 known as 99458. This can only be billed concurrently with 99457 and it takes into account additional 20 minutes over the initial 20 minutes. This code pays at about $40 over the initial $52 and can be billed as many times as you'd like per month. So think 40, 60, 80 plus minutes. Now, let's talk about remote patient monitoring for rural health clinics and federally qualified health centers. 
For rural health clinics and federally qualified health centers, there's some confusion on whether or not these types of clinics can bill for RPM services. Unfortunately, Medicare has made the aforementioned codes unavailable to these types of providers. The fact is though, that you can still bill for remote patient monitoring using general CPT code G0511. This code usually is seen more with chronic care management or behavioral health integration, but you can still bill for 20 minutes of RPM time using the code G0511. Our suggestion is to give the patient a remote patient monitoring device, log the 20 minutes, and bill for code G0511. Using code G0511, the national reimbursement for FQHCs and RHCs is $76.94. Code G0511 cannot be billed more than once a month. So if you are billing for CCM and RPM, you can only choose one or the other. Now that you have a better understanding of the remote patient monitoring CPT codes, you might want to take a deeper dive on whether or not this program is right for your group. There's a link in the description below to our learning center filled with clinical written content by our clinician team on staff regarding the value-based programs that ThoroughCare offers. Or if you'd like to learn more about care coordination software, feel free to contact us anytime. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to write in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.